This is the NHS, but not as we know it. The new Southmead is on the old site, but it's a different world and a whole new destination. Coming into hospital is no holiday, but they have used the latest airport technology to help you on your way. When you arrive, you use your appointment card to scan in, that alerts staff that you're here, and then you're told which gate to go to to get your treatment. Its atrium is the size of a cathedral. The building faces the outside world to make the most of natural light and shade. Tatty NHS posters warning of grim diseases are banned, replaced with precious works of art. This hospital lifts the body and soul. When you're feeling ill, it's nice to see green things. So they've done all this. Such largesse doesn't come cheap. The government is buying this on tick. The mortgage payments work out at around £100,000 a day. But staff insist that's good value for money for facilities which are world class. Most patients get their own room, each with a pleasant view and floor to ceiling window. There's an ensuite bathroom, come wet room. In the past, one of the worries about single rooms is that patients might be out of sight and out of mind. But look at the way it's been designed. If a nurse stands here and just moves like that, you can see directly into four separate rooms. And if you don't get your own pad, you come here to a four-bedder with an even larger bathroom. The beds and hoists are designed to cater for all shapes and sizes, up to 40 stone. It is a really high quality and they have to also meet the standards for infection control. So the curtains would be fine in a five-star hotel. Everywhere there's a loving attention to detail. But comfy beds and swish curtains mean nothing without great nursing. What standards should patients expect? Exceptionally high standards. We've put a lot of work and effort in to make sure that those standards are maintained and exceeded as we bring patients into this building. So we will be um, viewing every patient every hour, what we call intentional rounding, so that we're um, checking on patients for their care needs so that they don't feel isolated or forgotten in their, their single room. This is a clever bit of old technology that's been made modern. Say you need to give a sample. Well, it's just popped in a tube here, and then it's directed through tubes by compressed air to the other side of the site where the labs are. You just put in the destination on this keypad of where you want it to go. So you can send your urine almost anywhere in the hospital. There are 800 beds in the new Southmead, which replaces the old hospital on this site and Frenche. And this is the entrance to the emergency department, or casualty, or A&E, whatever you want to call it. They're expecting 80,000 patients over the next year. Here, there's a helicopter pad outside the back door. At French A, the aircraft had to land on the village green. Wherever you are in the West Country, if you're in real trouble, you'll be brought here by helicopter. The chopper lands just outside on the backyard, and then you're brought in here for a full body scan, and Resus is standing by next door. I hope you never need it, but if you do, it's got to give you the best possible chance. So a new chapter opens. Thousands will be born here, thousands will be healed here, and thousands will end their days here. The building is up and running. Now its story is just beginning.